Back across to O'Brien. And the siren sounds. And the Dogs make it seven of the last eight. And they continue to emerge as a threat to those above. Murray Eugle Hagen will have the last kick of the night. The roar says it all. A handful for Jamara. And the dogs respond. And they're on Monday, the next assignment for the Demons who get back on the winner's list. And they win tonight over the valley. They need magic. It's not going to happen. In the city of Churchill's, it's another Collingwood miracle. And we shouldn't be surprised. Craig McCray. A 70 point win on the eve of the finals campaign in 2023. And it is Craig McRae who took over when they were in 17th position, but has got them all the way to the top of the ladder. And they are the minor premiers. Oh, Briggsy holds it together. <laughs> One last thrust forward, or oh, Cadman couldn't quite. The siren sounds. Giant strides have been made this afternoon. This team. But with just six seconds to go, I don't think they can score three seconds. Somehow we lost three seconds off the clock. I'm not sure how, but the Giants are going to win this game. Adam Kingsley, the coach, they will have won four out of their last five. And they are having a good second half year. Seconds remaining. It's been a strange old night at the Gabba. But Brisbane remains standing. And they finish. They finish in front. And that's all that matters. They took the best the Cats could offer late in the game. Is he playing the Dugowie role and then just reverts back to the halfback flank? Or... Have we just seen so much improvement and impact? He stays in the mid. The siren sounds. This mighty Magpie team with an awesome display. They have taught the Gold Coast Suns. There's two goals. What is it now? Two for the night. That's been a success story. Back at home for the first time in two months and back on the winner's list. The Gold Coast Suns are within touching distance of the top eight with nine games to go. We don't think they can score three seconds. Somehow we lost three seconds off the clock. I'm not sure how, but the Giants are going to win this game. Adam Kingsley, the coach, they will have won four out of their last five. And they are having a good second half year. And the siren sounds. Top four still the Saints. They've won six from eight. And Ross Lyon and his men, a massive defensive that. The bounce, the footy gods, everything's favourite Collingwood. Claynor, Cameron! He has been epic, Darcy Cameron. Collingwood, well, if you weren't convinced by their 2022, are you convinced now? Just touched on the last line with the Gold Coast chant ringing out around Marvel Stadium. In the three years I played with them, I hardly sang the song, so uh, it'd be good to hear it again. <laughs> it's a critical win for Gold Coast. The Suns with their third straight victory over Richmond. They remain within striking distance of the top. And it's going to be a wonderful victory. He'll enjoy it. After a tough week for the footy club, the beginning of a new dawn for the Gold Coast Suns and the caretaker coach, well, they strike again. And st Tonight, the great Joel Sill was here to do it. Alongside our own Cameron Lang and the grand final replay. Here Geelong is a 93 point smashing in favour of the Cats. Aaron is going to sound and ring out for a massive afternoon for Hawthorne. 22 goal outing to get off the bottom of the ladder. The Eagles without a goal to show for the second half.
Who would have thought the Saints under Ross Lyon would be two and zip to start the season? Having taken down the Dockers and now the Dogs.